Welcome to Streaming Deluxe, my name is still Mr. Orange and today I'm going to bring you a little tribute to 3D Vision Gaming. As you know, 3D Vision Gaming that's uh, developed by uh, NVIDIA and uh, here you can see this is the 3D Vision 2 wireless glasses and 3D Vision Gaming means that you're going to play in a sort of stereoscopy. So therefore I also recommend you, it's down below the uh, the video I recommend you to go on the Wikipedia page if you have absolutely no idea what 3D vision is or a uh, stereoscopy is better said so it's actually a very very old uh, way how you can bring a 3D effect into yeah into classical uh, 2D pictures so it's it started all with those glasses etc then the coming those 3D uh, TVs as we all remember or the blue and red uh, glasses and even even the Nintendo 3DS had a stereoscopic effect without even using a glass very cool so but that's that's the long story and people uh, were not really happy with the 3d uh, TVs today stereoscopy uh, 3d is still used widely in most of the cinemas and yeah of course also in virtual uh, head mounted displays so in VR headsets like oculus rift or the wolf index or the hec wife uh, so it's just it's just the evolution it's just the development of the way how we game and in my personal opinion is uh, stereoscopic gaming was for me when i first started playing it like like seven years ago it was for me uh, yeah, it, it was the, 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 the jump I had when I was first playing Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo 64. So this was actually after 10 years not gaming anymore. It was bringing me back uh, into gaming. So when I was uh, buying myself a 3D Vision 2 wireless glasses kit and uh, and, uh, and uh, a screen that is supporting this. So, and then I was playing Skyrim in 3D Vision and I was absolutely amazing. Uh, and I was like... Uh, for the next five years completely into this and then the th then the VR headsets came out and uh, then my interest was a little bit dropping into NVIDIA 3D Vision 2. So uh, it's now I'm I would say safe to say that uh, that 3D Vision 2 uh, has its best time over. So this here uh, you can see there we, we got this the screens you had an NVIDIA 3D light boost technology and yeah over 600 games are supporting it and to where uh, yeah you can just you were just putting those glasses over your normal glasses if you had glasses like me or i still have uh, have the, the glasses of 3d vision of course but uh, yeah you can only you cannot really buy them anymore so 3d vision 2 wireless glasses are not produced anymore and uh, new driver of nvidia are not supporting them anymore this is the reason why my friends this is the reason why my friends i want to make a little tribute in this video uh, to Helix mod. So Helix mod was from the beginning the number one uh, page for everyone with a 3D vision headset uh, with 3D vision glasses because a lot of games were broken. So this was the biggest issue with 3D vision. So games were broken and therefore we needed a way how to how to fix the games. So how to uh, because they were like uh, when you were looking through the glasses there were some polygons there were they were just not in the in the right uh, in the right straight row so the 3d effect couldn't really work because it was just broken it was just some 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 effect where where big parts were just black or white etc so it's very difficult to explain and this was always one of the biggest issues also with 3d vision that uh, you were telling people how awesome it is how awesome the 3d effect is but you could not really you could not really uh, explain it to them so it, it gave you always this present so uh, well like now with the vr headsets we have a much more higher present therefore i prefer now uh, those uh, headsets but you had the present with the 3d vision headset uh, with a high resolution so well i'm talking now here a little bit in the past but it's not all over yet as you can see here so helix mod exists this is the the community page where you find a lot of fixes and the fixes are very easy to use uh, for uh, most of the recent games actually so you can still play most of the recent games in 3d and uh, this helix mod i would say or always recommend that you use it in uh, in conjunction with the g4 3d vision uh, forum 
and uh, yeah that's the place to go where you when you want to ask uh, what monitor do I need uh, if, a, if a game is fixed uh, if you just want to learn also how to fix games so that, that's the community as you can see here mostly the, the uh, yeah, those people that started here the communications so those are the the masters of 3d vision all right let's go to the helix mod and uh, let's go a little bit through this page because i think it's yeah i want to tribute in this game uh, in this video i want to give a tribute to to the great community but also to this page uh, which gave me hundreds of hours of amazing uh, gaming time and as you can see here uh, those are the, the most recent fixes are by losty and uh, i don't know this person yet so it's a new person i guess in the community so mod Harrow has a fix arc survival evolved as a fix Outer Wilds has a fix, Base Hulk has a fix, Sinking City has a fix, I mean Assetto Corsa has a fix. It's amazing guys, it's amazing. So you can still play so many games uh, with 3D Vision and Stereoscopy uh, as you can see here. I mean I even had the problem Arc Survival Evolve was not even starting when my 3D Vision um, was on in the, in the driver settings of my Nvidia card. So very important 3D Vision is Nvidia only, so of course you know this. All right, so now I'm going to show you the list, my friends. I'm going to show you this, the game list. It's amazing. Here, this is the game list. Those, all of those games. So we have like 600 games that you can play already. Then we have a lot of games you can play with a special, uh, less strong uh, 3D effect. And then we have this list here of games, of PC games that have been all fixed over the last uh, seven, eight, nine years, I think. And those are all playable in 3D. It's amazing. So if you if you like 3D, if you enjoy the 3D of your VR headset, you should definitely still consider getting a used uh, Nvidia 3D Vision uh, headset uh, or glasses, better say. There's so many games. It's amazing. So most of those games I, I own, and most of these games I actually also played in 3D. So I'm I'm a member of this community since six seven years, as I said. So I was I was never really getting into the coding aspects so or writing uh, writing uh, drivers or writing uh, the, those mods and really fixing those games. This can sometimes uh, take up to like hundreds of hours if you ask uh, those of the of the masters of the 3D vision fixing so you need some uh, some basic uh, let's call it a basic a mod the compiler and then uh, that people just starting to fix manual those games so this took a lot of work a lot of work and even a plague tale innocence a game that i just started uh, is also now possible to play in 3d so i didn't know yet so i sh should start playing this game again in 3d it, lo it, it takes a lot of work and the community this is here you can say the community the community was like kind of growing and uh, was getting uh, yeah was 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 peaking like in 2015 16 i would say was peaking there was really a lot going on the moment when uh, when then finally the x11 uh, games could be fixed before it we were a bit limited to the x9 games now the x11 games so the x the x12 games are not fixable at the moment yeah and then the recent years when then the vr headsets came out a lot of people moved on of course that's that's normal but uh, there's still some very active people as you can see so uh, someone writing two uh, like like uh, two hours ago d-man 11 is a really really he's a really uh, long-standing uh, long-standing member of the community but also some other people just moved on and uh, yeah community lives uh, by, by by the people but it's very important i think that you if you if you are uh, interested in stereoscopic gaming so i wanted to just have this now on a video because i don't know what happens to this board i don't even know uh, what the chief uh, was yeah was what nvidia is going to be uh, doing with this board we will be updating the geforce forum to a new design look and feel this week so hmm, is this 3d vision board disappearing i hope not so but the driver disappeared so as i said that's uh, really a problem at the moment all right so that's the list so hundreds of games hundreds of games my friends you can play in 3d then there's for example the 3d fix manager so you just download this and this is like updating or downloading the fixes by itself it's very very cool i mean yes it's complicated sometimes it's complicated you have to get a little bit into modding of games, but it's not more complicated than using any other form of mod. You just copy paste it mostly in the in the in the folder where the exe file is. 
Then uh, the forum, as I said, you click on it and installation and known issues. So of course I recommend you to read all of this here. Before you start using 3D region, uh, read all of this, then you're going to understand much better how it works. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes it takes hours until you find a solution for a fix. And it's, uh, but yeah, it, it's not like plug and play. And this was the biggest problem with 3D Vision. It, it, it had too many games that were broken and therefore people were kind of uh, disappointed and just moved on and they never really understood how, how good it can be. So therefore it became in the end a niche market. So it's a little bit sad for this, but yeah, that's how live is. So we move forward. We have now VR headsets. But it's all right, so I sometimes come back to play some of my 3D games, stereoscopic 3D vision games, so I'm still still a proud member of the community and I think I'm going to stay a member of this community definitely also for the next uh, one, two years, even if I'm not posting so much anymore on the on the board. So, But here, my excuses at this point to, to all of the members of the community. So this is also important here, you find guides, tools, uh, 3D Mikoto, that's the, <laughs> a lot of discussions going on on this uh, on this 3D Mikoto uh, part. So that's to play uh, the X11 games uh, and uh, fixing those. Then we have the wishlist, so this is actually really cool. So here you can put some votes on the games that you want to see fixed. So to, to have a game fixed, you, you need a person putting a lot of time into it. And uh, no one gets paid for this, so it's all uh, it's all pro bono, so no one gets paid. And people were putting like hundreds of hours mostly uh, into fixing games that they want themselves to play in 3D. And uh, I have to say, all oh, everyone has a job, so everyone has a normal life, so this was getting in the end a little bit difficult. So, But there are still some people uh, putting all this time into it. All right, so the most wanted game to be fixed is Crisis. Can you imagine? It's the Crisis. Can you play Crisis on the on your computers today? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> playing it at, I don't know, ultra high definition or whatever. World of Rockov hasn't been fixed. Yeah, Odyssey, great game, should be cool when it would be fixed. Far Cry 5 hasn't been fixed, Origins haven't been fixed. Yeah, it's a bit sad, so uh, there were always, it was always the fight against also some some other, uh, uh, other little uh, programs, let's call it like this, so yeah, anti-easy cheat and other stuff in, in, in Ubisoft games, for example, uh, where then the, where they were thinking that the 3D vision uh, uh, fights where like a uh, cheat program, but it's not, it's just uh, for the visual, so it has never been a cheat program. Okay, so cool. So some really cool games here to be fixed. So go come here and vote for, for the games that you want to see fixed. Uh, I absolutely recommend this. So here you always find the most recent, uh, on the right side, the most recent uh, games, and then the most popular is maybe also important here, you find them. And that's it. So yeah and join the join the board if you haven't joined it yet or come back to the board if you see this video and you're 3d vision gamer from the first from the first day on so come back to the board and uh, yeah that's how it looked so guys it was a good time it was a good time maybe it's over maybe not i don't know uh i, I moved on a little bit but uh i have to say i'm definitely keeping up with this community for the next two three years and uh, yet up up until to the end so so this is my tribute video to the 3d vision community a short one but i hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a wonderful day if you like this video give me a like give me a sub and comment something if you're a 3d vision gamer comment something this is very important i want to i want to see how many people are actually out there and still uh, still feeling uh, being a member of this little niche community all right my friends have a wonderful day see you